Welcome back. Thank you. Welcome back to you, Mew Yu. You're just in time. Um, so... This is a new game. One of my friends recommended it to me. Um, it's a game apparently about... Um, you're a fairy master and you help spirits on their journey to move on. It's a game that apparently deals with death and saying goodbye but it's not like morbid it's more accepting i guess yay a new game i know i saw this and one of my other friends streamed it the other day i didn't get a chance to watch it so i know nothing about this game at all it seems seems great game yeah i'm excited to try it it's really got stardew valley feels um but yeah, you apparently- I don't know much- like I said, I don't know much about the game, aside from the fact that you help these characters on your boat- these people, these spirits that are on your boat, move on. And you try and make it as comfortable as an experience as possible? I don't know. Looking forward to see the gameplay? Yes. So I know nothing about this game aside from that. It'll be a new experience for all. So, without further ado, let's just jump in and start, shall we? There we go. New game! Oh, cute! It's a little cat that's freezing. That's apparently our companion. That's the one companion we never- Aww. Wow. <gasps> oh my gosh, what pretty animation. Ooh, you're big. Hi. Ah, finally. Oh wow. I'm dead. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. How ironic that would have been, would it not? I'm Sharon. Sharon? Sharon. S the spirit fair. Ooh. Well, that is what I have been until your arrival. Huh. I cannot say that I am sad to leave. I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are? Stella. Welcome, Stella. I see you have brought a friend here with you. What's his name? Daffodil. Oh, that's a cute name for a cat. I love it. I see. You two will share the burden then. And take it over from me. As I said in a few minutes, I will be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit bearer. <laughs> my, my character's like, what? What's going on? Listen, your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands, and when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You will have to help them fulfill their last requests and be at their service until their last breath. Interesting. That is so cool. I love the music. Oh my gosh. This animation is so beautiful. The big round bridge over there is the Everdoor. The Alpha where everything starts, the Omega where everything ends. This is where all the quests get completed and where existence meets its threshold. There is no task more important than this one. Never forget this, Stella. 
Here, there is something I need to give you. There's like little sparks coming out of his eyeball thing. You see that? It's like tiny little sparks. I don't know if that's important, but whatever. <laughs> Ooh. Do I get a pretty cool staff like you do? <laughs> My face. What's this? Now, be really careful with it. It is the Everlight. The symbol of your status here, and the only tool you will ever need. Wait, what are you... Oh, how highly inappropriate. Did my cat just... Did my cat just, like, molest the guy? What, what did she just do? <laughs> that settles it. And is playing with his guts. Alright, cool. The other light will help you throughout your travels. I'm surprised he didn't kill her or something. It will be the light that shines in the darkness. The last remaining hope of the departed. Ooh. Oh, that is so cool. It's in my belt! Hope is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too at first. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. You will soon get used to this place. Accustomed to these moments. You are the new spirit fairers, after all. Just one thing. Oh, one last thing. Once I am gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. Great. You're not gonna leave me anything. Mine is not suited for you. It will fade away once I am gone. You might find one not too far from here if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. I'm guessing since this is a side scroller, it's literally go in the right direction. That way. Well, this way for you guys. <laughs> it's time. Here I go. <laughs> bye bye. Aww. Enjoy your departed time. So long, Stella. And good luck. You will need it. Well, thanks. Why does it look like a dark force when he leaves? Well, cool. Well, this is awesome. Is this where I control her now, or...? No, okay, cool. Sometimes in these kinds of games, I'm not sure when the transition of I take over is completely clear. Oh, my boat just... okay. Oh, that's a weird button to jump with. Okay. Press B to jump. Press up while jumping to go through platforms. Alright. Oh. Press to drop down. Hello! How do I talk to you? Interact with a glowing outline. Stella! It really is you. Okay, there's a spirit thingy up there. Isn't there? Stand up straight and let me get a good look at you. What are you, my mother? You look good. Well, of course I do. And Daffodil is here too, I see. Not even paying attention, playing with the guy's guts still. Hey. We'll have to find a lint roller then. <laughs> Ah, uh, it might not be that obvious after all. Mm -hmm. It's me! Gwen! Oh, what? It was Gwen. Is this someone I should know? Good thing you found me. Oh, she's excited! Who's Gwen? Mm -hmm. 
If you're here, it means... Oh. You are the new spirit fair. You are the one replacing Charon. I'm gonna guess that's how you say it. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. What? I've been stuck on this disgusting island for about a week, living off sardines and cigarettes. Ew! Mm -hmm. Cigarettes? Really? You could find something better. Funny how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. I could see you have an Everlight now. Of course. See that boat over there? Ooh. Is it mine? Can I have it? It's a piece of junk. <laughs> That's the one! It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's commandeer it. I'd wager it will work since you're at the spirit fair. Okay, meet me on the deck over there. I'll explain it all. Oh! The thingy up top- Oh! Was that her? I can use my ball as a yo-yo? Look at me go! Nice! Alright, well, let's go. Whoa! Uh-oh. I don't think I can swim. Can I swim? Help! Ah! I can't get up. <laughs> I just killed myself. Let me up! Oh my gosh. <sighs> I already killed my person. Wait, can a spirit fairer die? Oh, that was cool. Can I do that again? Alright, well, anyway. Uh, enough playing around. I'm coming. Look at my big hunk of junk ship. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, here it goes. Hope my fur coat won't get too damaged. What? Ooh. <gasps> Wonderful. Aww. You're cute! I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Oh, now the cigarettes make sense. Much better than anticipated. So, the way I see it, this boat is yours now. Don't you think? Good. Yes, yes I do. It's my boat. And as you're the spirit fair, welcoming stray spirits is your new job. And once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Oh. Well, it's my theory anyway. Why are you looking at me like that? You need to come here and give me a hug. Aww. Hug. Hug. Get. Wait. How? Hug. Mm -hmm. Aww. Mm -hmm. Much better. Oh, that's cute. I love it. Mm -hmm. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. Look at her walk. She's so dainty and cute. Can I walk at all? Mm -hmm. Oh no, what now? What a mess. Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. A beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness. <gasps> I'm gonna have to clean this all up. <laughs> my, my person does not look happy. Or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this or my dust allergies will be back. Really? Dust allergies? You're smoking a cigarette and you're worried about dust allergies? Let me think. Mm -hmm. There is only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert. Mm -hmm. He's your local shipwright. What? And his jokes are garbage. <laughs> oh, I'm excited to meet Albert. Oh, Al is that, was that his name? Albert? Albright? No, I don't remember. Eh. But he's the only one who can fix mm -hmm. your boat. We should head to Albert's shipyard. You have to learning how to make this ship move. It's really easy, actually. There, let me give you this key I found on the island. It will unlock that cabin in the back. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know all this? Well, I was planning an escape, remember? Mm -hmm. And you know me. I plan things meticulously. Very mm -hmm. meticulously. Alright, I like her. Go open the ca up that cabin, mm -hmm. Stella. The map projector should be simple enough to use, and you should and you just have to go to Albert's shipyard. <laughs> Key for Stella's cabin. <gasps> Wait. There we go. Set sail, Captain. Cool. 
Okay, good. Let, there we go. Wasn't letting me out for a second. Can I ring this bell? Yes. Unlock it. Come on. There we go. Ooh. Wait. Ooh, okay. Oh. Oh! Set destination. <gasps> you mean I don't have to move the ship on my own? That's awesome! Let me out. Stella! I did it! As I understand, the ship is powered by your Everlight. Okay. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals the stray spirits. Okay! It also explains why I couldn't do anything by myself. Mm -hmm. You must admit, it's quite fascinating. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. Charon, the Everdor, the Spiritfarers, this place, this boat, me being here, it's a lot. You must be wondering what's going on. Did I die? Mm -hmm. Truth be told, I don't really know either. But I'm here for you. Aww. I'll do my best to help you and try to make sense of it all. As I said earlier, I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore this ship. You can even give that fishing rod a try. Ooh, the world is your oyster. <gasps> can I hug you again? Can I, can I? Talk, hug, mood, food. Another hug. Wait, no. I want... What? Hug. Mm -hmm. Thanks, but that won't be necessary. Aw, well, fine. Can I exit now? Let me out! There. How do I fish? <gasps> oh! Ah, oh, come on, let me. I am. Once everyone is on board. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I am not good at this. Do I just need to interact with- Oh! Okay! Okay! <laughs> How many times am I gonna fall off this boat? Probably a lot. Really didn't, really didn't. What?! An old shoe. Come on. Let me get- Give me something good. I want an actual fish, please. In you come. Really? Another shoe? Let me off. There we go. Here we are! Oh. Albert's shipyard is discovered. Ooh. Aw. Now head down to Albert's shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. Okay. It's the only way to clear this clutter. Okay? I'm curious about what it's all made of. Alright. Mm -hmm. Considering the smell, I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. Wait, how do I... Oh, okay, I don't have to do anything. I just have to get on the little... D and go. That's fine. Works for me. Oh, he's got a shark head. Hi. Over here. Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. <laughs> where my prices are customer's best friends. I'm Albert. Are they literally my best friend? Because you're a shark. And I feel like you would eat my best friend. Been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you are the new spirit fairer? That's right, yo, yeah, of course you are. Anyway, you've been able to start this ship and bring it here after all. Gwen was right to point you towards my humble enterprise. Ha! Let me see what you have here. Nice little dinghy. Funny how it looks exactly like the one I'd built some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. See, Charon was unhappy about his gloomy and dank arc. Actually, he was always complaining about everything. But the customer's always right. So I built him a newer, better one. Of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard. But don't worry, you could keep this one. Let's just call this a loan. Okay? And let me tell you something. You know, we always joke about the construction here. 
Don't worry. We're still working on it. <laughs> I like this guy. Anyway, with a little bit of love, this bird will be resplendent again. Resplendent. I think I said that wrong. The first thing you'll need is a proper blueprint table. Since you're, it's your lucky day and I'm feeling generous, I'll offer it to you. Free of charge. Mind you, it's just a bit bare bones in terms of functionality, but these subsequent upgrades will come at such a small price, you want to buy them almost immediately. <laughs> Simply direct me to upgrade the ship. Okay. Talk. Upgrade. Uh. Oh my gosh. Beginner. Is this what I'm doing? What? What am I having him upgrade? Not this, right? Oh! Yes, it was that. Okay. Well, I don't have any other money, so... You could be able to build and edit your buildings on your boat. What a treat! But if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and in pleasure, I'm your guy. Come back when you feel your boat is getting too crowded. Cheers! Cool. Okay. Head back to the boat. Well, cool. <gasps> I'm always scared that I'm gonna fall off this boat. I keep doing it on accident. I don't mean to. Finally! Good. Albert gave it to you for free? And he said he loaned the ship to you? Mm -hmm. Omnius. Ominous. Ominous. I can read. Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand for now. Mm -hmm. Cleaning up this deck. You can go to your new blueprint table above your cabin and select the move option. In it, you'll be able to remove any building and get back resources. Go for it. I'll wait here. Oh, wait. I'm supposed to do what? Blueprint station above your cabin. Oh. No. This button. Hello. Can I... There we go. What am I doing? Salvage. Yes. Cool! I did it! Aren't you so proud of me, Gwen? You did a wonderful job, Stella. Aw, she's so happy. And the good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. A necessary amenity. <laughs> Newly welcomed spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep, not really. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in there. Mm -hmm. But it beats sleeping on the deck. The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff and the humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave it- I'll leave you to it. Have fun. Okay? Build the guest house. Okay. Build. This one. Wait. Guest house. Well, let's put it there. You only build one of these, okay? Can I build anything else? No? Fine. Now what? Talk to Gwen. Okay! Hey, Gwen! I made it, do you like it? This guest house is very pretty. It has your touch. Aw. Oh, she's so cute. Nice work as usual. Aw, thanks. Now at last I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh, wait. What is going on? Something else is happening. Mm -hmm. Ah, I should have expected this. What? I'm actually hungry. What? Mm -hmm. Very hungry. Oh, I have to feed you. Are you kidding? You know how terrible a cook I am. But I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. Mm 
We might have fished a few fishes already. No trouble is I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I could try it for sure, but I'll probably choke on the fish bone and never survive. That's not how you want me to go. As absurd as this sounds, so you should keep on using the blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen aboard. Okay. I'm pretty sure I've seen the plan for it in there. As well as the necessary resources. Damn. You require bright jelly. Mm. And there's only one way to get some. I... Mm. Look, I should have told you when I first met you here. Something scares the hell out of me. Mm -hmm. A dark presence, and even I cower from it. A void that swallows all light included. It can take many forms, and for me, it is always jellyfish. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen, while well, only these jellyfish can provide it to you. So there's no other option. Mm -hmm. I'll have to face my fears. But you're mm -hmm. here. With you, I can do it. It will appear as a dark patch of pure fear on your map, so you can't miss it. Go, I'll take some time to repair myself. What? Go hunt down some jellyfish? Okay, well... So... Do I just fish for now and not fall off? Cause I don't even have any fish! Do I have a map? And if I do, how do I open it? Come on. Come here. Fish. Oh my gosh, finally. I'm not completely useless. It's too dark to navigate. Oh, wait. What is it? Stella, what? Ah. Yes, I forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, this boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your ever light being, well, light. Or some other technicality. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Tackle unfinished business, or just chill on the deck under the stars. I'd suggest you go to sleep too in that cozy little room atop your cabin. You'll wake up refreshed and ready to go, and this ship will start up again in the morning. Oh, and speaking of that, you know me, waking up at up on time has never been my forte. Mm -hmm. You can ring that bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right time. Mm -hmm. Early morning should do the trick. Oh. Excuse me. Speaking of sleep, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Have a good night. Is that how she sleeps? Let's sleep, I guess? No. Wrong button. In here? Wait. Oh. Sleep until morning. Yes. Aww. Cute. <gasps> Hi, Rachel. How are you? Are you feeling better? I know you're feeling sick. So I hope you're feeling better. This is a fun game I'm currently playing it too. Yes! I am having... Oh. I'm having fun playing it though. I'm still like a little confused. I'm supposed to be hunting jellies? Am I supposed to set a destination? Oh! Well, now I feel stupid. I thought, okay, well, we're gonna go here then. Oops. So this has a bell. Does that mean I wake people up? Do I wake people up now? Yes. Did I do it at the right time? Good morning. Yes, good morning. You know, I'm delighted that you're here with me. Aw, but I'm not surprised one bit. It adds up. You here are taking care of me in my final hours. Aw. You've always cared so damn much about others. Always protected those you found vulnerable. Even 
pedantic snobs like me. Remember the day my father yelled at the cat? We just got out of elementary school. Aww. You were wearing those blue sneakers with the glittery tags. Aww. And there you were yelling back at my father like you were on a mission. Father turned red and smashed the purple Delano vase. It was rad. <laughs> Alright. Well, cool. We're gonna fish some more, I guess. Oh, dear. Oh, okay. We're gonna... Something's... Okay. Here we are. Damn. <laughs> Here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the ones with jelly, with bright jelly. They should be visible enough. That said, pop as many as you can. You'll get glimpses away anyway. I will wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out here. Okay, go ahead. I believe it. Wait, what do I do? Wait, what? What do I do? Hello? Oh! <gasps> Oh. It doesn't hurt me at all? Come back here! No! Ah! Come on, come on, come on! Eee! Gimme! Gimme! Give it to me! Dang it, I missed! Ah! Aha! I got you. Ooh, thank you for the host. Oops, I just missed. Yoink! You're the one I need. You're the one that I want. E. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is where you get the jellies. Yes! Oh, I'm jumping in here! Yes! Give me all of the popping boys. Eh. Yes! All mine. Oh my gosh, this is weird. I can understand now why Gwen is afraid of these things. They're kind of creepy looking. Uh, thank you, Panda Nini, for, follow for the follow. I appreciate it. And for the... Host, that is very nice of you. I appreciate. We did it. Hey Gwen, I did it. Okay, I'm really impressed. You rocked out there. Oh yeah, we rocked. Mm -hmm. Tumbling and diving like a shooting star. Yeah, and without the slightest fear nor hesitation at that, you definitely haven't lost your touch. Mm -hmm. And you even gathered enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen. Go for it. Yes! Y'all know that I need a good kitchen. Me being a chef. You know. I'll be patiently waiting. Slowly digesting myself. Okay. No worries. Been playing the same game. Pretty lovely. Yes! This is my first time playing it. And so far, I am loving it. Where's my kitchen? Kitchen! Right here. And we'll build it Right. I can't put any words. Right there. This is gonna be like Tetris. Lovely kitchen. Yes, I knew. I made it. Anything I make is lovely. And I have fish! You can now use the kitchen's oven. Oh, it's got an oven. We're making baked fish. It should be rather simple. Well, if it's so simple, why don't you do it yourself? Put any one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. You can even try these loose corn kernels that have been hanging around my around my pockets. Ew. I can't wait to see you in your cooking glory again. You got this. Oh yeah. Let's uh, cook then. Recipes. I don't have any. Cook. Okay. Cook the corn. Oh, okay. Cook. Why is my kitchen still on fire? Oh. Oh! <laughs> okay, I thought it was just stop when it's done. There you go. 
I could eat anything. Just give me some food. Food. Give. Well, I won't die just yet. Thanks, Stella. It's better than I thought it could be. But then again, you've always been a wonder in the kitchen. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. We need a good meal once in a while. It will be up to you to understand who's fond of what. Oh, no. As for me, I'm sure you remember I've always loved comfort food. And that I would die for a cup of coffee. But I'm not that picky. I can eat anything. Just never the same thing twice. Ugh. Oh, and before I forget, here's something I was supposed to give you. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but an obol is a symbol of passage. It's a fee each spirit has to pay you. But something tells me you knew that already. I know I did not. Okay, let's keep on improving this craft. As you must have seen, in your blueprint table, there is both a field and a garden blueprint, which means you can grow many different things and turn the ship into an adorable farm of sorts. You should add a field first, in my opinion. All right. It's going to be easier to find the resources for it around here and you can grow linen in it. She said field, right? Which in turn will be used to craft more things. In addition to building a field, we should go buy seeds to use in it. But that will come later. I need you to visit an island close by. It's called Mosting Cove and there is something on it we need. All right. I'll tell you when we get there. Wait! I must hug you. Aww. Oh, you're so cute. Feeling much better. Good! How's your mood? Recently hugged, has eaten a meal she likes, optimistic about the new journey. Okay, cool. Okay, bye. We're gonna go in my cabin and. No, wait. Yes. The correct spices. Wait! Wait, what am I doing? Talk to Gwen. I did talk to Gwen. Oh, you're coming with me. Okay. I didn't know she could come with me. So yeah, I still kind of have stomach problems. Like I've had a lot since coming back home. You know, the stress from moving and everything. So I'm working on it. I'm trying to get better. Hey. What a majestic tree. Well, you can cut it down. <laughs> Yes, it's fine, I promise. It's the best way to get wood you need, actually. But don't worry, they'll regrow over time. Another interesting fact about the Everlight. Okay. Ooh! Oh! Cool! Well done! Cool. I honestly think I had a massive attack due to stress as well. Yeah, stress has a lot of impact on your digestive tract and your stomach. For you have become death, the destroyer of worlds. Joke aside, that's how you do it. You go on ahead cutting down more trees. Then we could go back to the boat and build the field with all those maple logs. Alright, I'll be next to the raft. We can get berries! Nice! Can I cut you? No. Where's another tree I can cut? Can I cut you? No. You? Okay, we can only get the big ones. That's so cool! There it goes! Timber! This is so cool, I love it. What's this? Hold A as long as possible to break a mining node. Oh. Oops. Oh, okay. Try again. Too long again. Dang it. Okay, I will get this. Get it? No. There we go! Yes! I am the greatest! Okay, wait, I can't go any farther? Aww. Can I swim? Okay, that's as far as I go. Well... Let me up! There we go. Let's 
Stress and anxiety cause much of the body's diseases. Yep. So please take care of your mental health and everything will get better. Yes, exactly. What is this? Ooh. Very cool. All right, I'm done. Let's go. Get, get, get on the boat. Oh, you're hungry. Here, uh, acquired taste. She probably won't like it. Here you go. Is that shellfish? Oh no, 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 not for me. Sorry. Okay. Then we'll, we're just gonna go now, okay? We're gonna go, get in the boat. <laughs> okay, I will send you your emos today. I'm sorry, it's taking me forever. No, all worries. Oh, did you see my emote? My other, oh wait. This doesn't burn if I don't get it in time, does it? Uh, my emote was approved. Let's cook some more. <gasps> Can I cook this? Cook all of it. Perfect. Now, let's... Where else can we go? Ooh. Hummingbird? This is where we need to go, I think. Okay, and I need to build the field. Right? Garden. Field! There it is. Oh no. Oh! <gasps> Cool! You can just build it right on top of things! It's too dark to navigate. Ow! For me. Fine. Let me out! There we go. Where are you going? Get back here. A field! No, it won't burn. Okay, good. It's better looking than I thought. There's a little genocycle to do. What? Simple, but elegant. Now all I have to do is plant field seeds in there. Seeds can grow only in their respective places. Garden seeds won't grow in the field, so don't bother trying. But you know me, I would kill a plastic cactus, so don't take my word on this. <laughs> anyway, there's only one place where we could find what we need. Theodore specializes in seeds. He has set up a shop in Hummingburg. Hey, we're already heading there. The busiest town of the area. Theodore and his brothers are the founders of Raccoon Inc., a shady retail franchise with very loose moral values. Like, you know, Tom Nook? Yes, this world has a serious problem of dubious business practices. Mm -hmm. Since I don't want you to get swindled, I'll come with you and do most of the talking. I've run into this cheeky little raccoon once, and his dishonesty was blatant. Let's head to Hummingbird, then. Hey, can I give you food? Would you like a fish? Thanks, I love it. Oh, good. Okay, fine. Won't be necessary. There you go. Wee! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm faster than you are. Alright, I think... I am going to take a bathroom break real fast, so I will be right back. So...